Welcome to the Champagne Way, a podcast devoted to living every day like a celebration. Welcome to the Champagne Way, episode 30. Hooray! Hooray! Woohoo! Yeah! yeah. We made it. We made it to 30, guys, and we celebrated our one-year anniversary today. So exciting. It was so much fun. Yes, if you did not catch our Facebook Live, you can go back and rewatch it. It's pretty amazing, if I do say so myself. And you should, because it was. It was. <laughs> Even if you uh, did watch it, you should go back and rewatch it. Yes. It also means we've been drinking for several hours straight. <laughs> You're welcome. Yes. <laughs> Yes, sorry, Marshall. This episode's going to be a doozy. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> yeah. All right, Jess, what's in our cups? Uh, well, if you did watch the Facebook Live, uh, or if you uh, listened to past episodes uh, in the bubbly bracket, then you know Lamarck is our favorite. Yes, mm-hmm. it is. Uh, so we decided for episode 30 and our one-year anniversary, we were just going to stick with delicious Lamarck. Uh, but we have some additives uh, that we put in here. So Trina, I believe you have some delicious peach juice. Yes, I have some peach juice. And then a little bit of that uh, raspberry peach, like grain. The grain- Grand Marnier. Grand Marnier. Uh-huh. Yeah. And Lindsay just has some strawberry, fresh strawberry stuff in uh, there. Uh, strawberry. Uh, strawberry. Uh, strawberry. It's very picturesque. It's like you see all the bubbles surrounding uh-huh. the strawberry. Uh-huh. It looks delicious. I am a just fill my glass with champagne, no additives, but I do like a little strawberry. She's a purist. A purist. Champagne purist. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, and then that delicious frosé that Lindsay made for us, um, mine kind of a little bit melted and so I just poured the rest of that right into my champagne. Mm-hmm. Super smart. Yeah. I can't let any frosé, rosé or champagne go to waste. Oh, no, I do love a good champagne with a little scoop of sorbet or frosé in it. It is delish. That exactly. is a nice dessert. So that that sounds delicious. I might try that later since I still have some extra frosé in yeah. my freezer. Ooh. Yeah. 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 So that's what's in our cup. Uh-huh. All right. So champagne shout outs. It's been a great year. It's been an awesome year. Yeah. Can't believe it's been a year. I know. I know. And we have our listeners to thank. We are going to shout out to you uh, for making all this possible and making us the second best podcast in Nashville. So cheers to you guys. Yay. Yeah. Yes. And we'd also like to shout out to Second Sound. Without them, the production of this podcast would not be possible or if it is it would not be very good (laughs) there's a that's a good point (laughs) Um, there's a lot that goes into this (laughs) there would be a whole lot of drunk loops as my fiance calls them where you just go and talk around in circles oh Mm -hmm. oh there'd definitely be a lot of those yeah (laughs) definitely be as someone who's who's edited this a few times uh, myself there definitely would be and i'm guilty of it too like super guilty of it. Well, I mean, I think that just happens the more you drink. So, of course, of so course. Our, our drunker episodes definitely have a lot more editing. Yeah, it, but I mean, this is what we do for you, yes. listeners. Yeah, we drink. Take every, one for the team. Yeah, we and do. I mean, we wouldn't be drinking if it weren't for you. I mean, we would, but <laughs> but you help encourage it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Who else are we thanking right now for this one year? Oh well, we have to thank the amazing lady who made those fabulous cookies for us yes these cookies were so good yes so So cute and actually delicious those two things usually don't go together when you have those fancy cookies oh yeah they were so delicious Mm -hmm. like strawberry flavored Mm, so good she even thought about that for what would pair best with champagne and she's like like, strawberries and champagne yeah Uh, why so thoughtful exactly why do more than that (laughs) well thank you june bug yes thank you thank you melissa who is june bug (laughs) oh awesome well cheers cheers to you all so valentine's day is right around the corner oh yeah oh yeah Mm-hmm. Okay, so do y'all even know why we have Valentine's Day? I mean... Hallmark? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> right? That's it. To celebrate love okay. or something. <laughs> so, it's actually an or interesting misery. story. There's actually a couple different stories, but I'm going to tell you my favorite one. Okay. Yeah. That I read. Okay, it's a Catholic thing, which I feel like every holiday... It's Catholic? Catholic? That's right. It's like a, mm-hmm. a saint. Saint Valentine or yeah, something? Yeah, there's, there's uh, been like three Saint Valentine's Day 
over the years. Um, so what happened is Emperor Claudius or Claudia or some emperor, em, emperor, emperor. Some, <laughs> some emperor. emperor. This is uh, the Champagne Ways version of Drunk History. Oh, that's the best. <laughs> okay. So he thought, okay, if I have all these men becoming soldiers to fight in a war, it's much better to get the young men with no families. Huh. They fight better. They will put themselves out there more. They will, I guess, sacrifice themselves in a war. Whereas if you are a married man with a family, you're not as likely to do that. Oh, yeah. I guess you, you, you'd probably care about whether or not you... Yeah. Get killed, I guess. Right. I mean, because you're, you're like, yo, I'm not putting myself on the front line because I got a family to go home back Support. to. Support. Yeah. yeah. Right. So Emperor Claudius said, whoa, boys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nobody's getting married in my land. What? He, did he, like, he like banned marriages? He banned marriages. What? And, and said, if you're under the age of, I don't know, this was back in the day, so probably 13, you can't get married. <laughs> We're going to say 25. Okay. So, so St. Valentine said, you know what? That just doesn't sound right. You can't stop true love. Hashtag true love. Hashtag true love. This, this, sorry. Was this before he was a saint? So was he just like Valentine before at this point? Um, no, I think he's already a saint. Oh, okay. I'm not sure. Cool. Anyway, so he said, shh, I'm going to do some secret marriages because hashtag true love. Hashtag, hashtag true love. True love. So he actually performed a ton of secret marriages to these boys who wanted to get married. Hmm. I mean, yeah. that makes sense. And Emperor Claudius found out about it. Uh-oh. I bet he was Off pissed. with his head? Off with his head. He chopped his head off, and that's <gasps> why we have Valentine's Day! Wait, I was right. Yeah. I was not expecting that to be. I was like just thinking Queen of Hearts, but because he sounds like the the match to Queen of Hearts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, so that's why you have Valentine's Day. Wow, I wonder if that's also how we have the Queen of Hearts. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe. So it's because somebody lost their head and you can't stop true love. Hashtag true love. Oh, wow, that's a like that takes a that. I don't know. That takes away a little bit of like the, oh, it's such a romantic day. He sacrificed. Sacri- <laughs> sacrificed. He, he sacrificed himself his for true love, Trina. Okay. I get that. It doesn't get better than that. It's, that's true. Thank you, St. Valentine. Did, did he also have his own Valentine? Did he sacrifice himself for? No, other- you can't. If you're a saint, I think you have to be like. That's true, I guess. Angelic and virginal. Vir- virginal. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Have a chastity belt and stuff. All that. So, so okay. he, he like sacrificed for true love and he didn't even get to like experience it. Yeah. Huh. So, all right. So he, even though these people were supposed to just go fight a war and stuff, mm-hmm. uh, he was like, no, love's going to prevail. I'm going to marry all folks. Yeah. And he did. And so that's why. Okay. So I get that. How did we uh, get... How did Hallmark get involved? <laughs> yeah, how did it become the the national worldwide day of love or well, whatever? You, as you know, Hallmark can take any story and romanticize it. True, and therefore they were like, "Oh, this could be a romantic movie, and we could make lots of money from the crap we get." men to buy for women ten dollar cards yeah because greeting cards around valentine's day are ridiculous yes i definitely like have thought that the last two years when i've like bought like a valentine's day card like they on average range from like seven to twelve dollars are you serious yeah i'm not kidding you like the cheapest one i found in the last few years that was like a good card was like seven dollars it's it's crazy how expensive it is for a greeting card Okay, so that's interesting you say that, because we have some, like, Valentine's Day facts. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm curious. Yeah. So, how many heart-shaped boxes of chocolates are sold in the U.S.? Ooh, heart-shaped boxes of chocolates. Not None of those, like, Russell Stover Square ones, because those aren't fancy no, enough. No, heart. Heart-shaped. Um, I'm still going to go with, like, just even in the U.S., I'm, I'm still thinking over a million. I'm going to say 20 million. Yeah, I would, I would, um, 15 million. 36 million. <gasps> Holy moly. Whoa. Wow. I should probably, like, learn how many people are in the U.S., like, over a certain age, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess people buy them for the kids, too. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, um, I like this one, even though it does not apply in my household. All right, so, 
how much does the average man spend on Valentine's Day gifts and how much does the average woman woman spend on Valentine's Day gifts? I feel like that's going to be skewed because like based on someone's age, like how much they spend is going to be different. It just says on average. On average. I mean, I guess for um, and uh, just okay. on gifts or does that include like dates? Um, or just, just in general. On Valentine's just on Day. Valentine's Day in general. Okay, so let me ask you this. Who um, spends more, men or women? Oh. I mean. I I'm torn because like, I want to say, uh, the, I think the easiest answer would be men. Right, I feel like this is gender bias. Yeah, they're <laughs> more, uh, yeah, it's a Valentine's Day is skewed towards them buying the gifts and like taking uh-huh. us to dinner and all of that kind of stuff. But I also know plenty of women who do just as much, if not more, uh-huh. for yeah. their spouses or whatever. So like, and they're, they put more thought, I think, into gifts. That's the thing. And so I they think. end up being more expensive. Okay, so men usually spend an average of $130 while women spend an average about 70 but yes i think you're right women still give better gifts because they're more thoughtful yeah that's not in the facts that's just a <laughs> known fact and so i guess if you add in like dinner and drinks and flowers also flowers are expensive so if men are buying flowers and candies and jewelry or any and taking people out to dinner then i see where that means they spent more overall yeah but yeah that's where i get confused cause like i know there's certain valentine's days where i probably spent more than marshall and then there's some times where he spent more than me I and mean, i don't think it's competition but I definitely think that there's been those times. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. I, I can't answer. Will and I don't do Valentine's Day, so I can't really answer this question. Do you not? Wait, you don't like St. Valentine? All? No, we like don't do. Here, so you don't like true love? Here's how we roll on Valentine's Day. <laughs> uh, we order Chinese takeout food. Oh. But you do celebrate it because you do that every year? I guess that's our tradition. That's your tradition? Okay. That counts. Mine, uh, oh, now we did that a couple times on Valentine's Day, but that's only because like I got sick on Valentine's Day like a couple years like in a row. I'm pretty sure. And it also just happened to be around the same time that we also get snow every year in Tennessee, mm. and so I crave Chinese food when I'm sick. Oh yeah, no, that makes sense. <laughs> so, but we don't like. Uh, he got me a card once just as a joke because he hates cards, but like we don't. He doesn't like to give cards or receive cards, but we like don't give each other gifts or anything like that. Yeah. I mean, I think it's, but you do do something together. Yeah. Yeah. You you may are like, no, 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 but we're still going to order Chinese every year and just be together. Yeah. I guess because that's our making fun of it, but. Yeah. (laughs) Well, and I think that's fine as long as, you know, you can do that and just with your significant yeah. other okay you know, that's fine that's legit i think it's cool to kind of come up with your own yeah. traditions. traditions i don't I, I don't necessarily like the naysayers of the holiday and like but that kind of stuff just because it's to each their own i don't think yeah i don't think it should be a mockery of either way i also don't think people should have like huge expectations right. for it no. and put it on one, make it one-sided but um like we've had very fun you've right Valentine's you, you guys days. did some great stuff last year right yeah we, we look into doing some fun activities and stuff but there was also a few years in a row where it's Marshall had to work because there was a Preds game every single Valentine's Day for like three years in a row. Mm-hmm. So I went with my friend Chris to the Preds game each year and he was my date. So or yeah. like we did um, that one year. We did the mis- the massage stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Uh, when he was out of town, like he, he yeah. treated um, actually me and a friend, me and yeah. you, Jess, to go get like massages and some brunch. And um, I mean, like, and we've always tried to do things like that just for fun but we've never necessarily had the expectation like if he didn't do that then i was going to be upset yeah so i I still want the same thing that i've asked for for the last five years for valentine's day i'm gonna say it again what's that the valentine's day haunted house i'm just gonna (gasps) put that out there it's never gonna happen but i'm gonna say it and it does and this time you're not pregnant yeah, so yes. that can't be an excuse. Well, I wasn't she, pregnant the four years before last well, year either. Well, that's true. But I know last year it, there was a comment about scaring a baby out of you. Okay. So that can't happen now. So right. you're good. I feel yeah. like you can go. Okay. Okay. All right. So I have a question for you guys. Yes. So actually, the biggest floral day sale is not Valentine's Day. What is it? What then? is it? Oh, no. I would have guessed Mother's Day? Yes, Mother's wow. Day. Good guess. I would have. Yeah. I would have totally said Valentine's Day. I work in the jewelry uh, marketing industry, and I just feel like I know all those holidays pretty well. <laughs> okay, how do you catch a person's heart? Um, like if you're if you're like maybe a new lover or a new in a new dating relationship, what should you give them for Valentine's Day to catch their heart? In, in the saying, like. You get them through like food, through like eating. <laughs> well, first you roofie them. No, I'm sure. No. Like no, 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 no. Don't do that, guys. <laughs> um, 
Okay, so actually, you order a flower bouquet and you tie it in lace. The lace comes from the Latin word laces, which means to snare or knit. Oh. Oh. So okay. you can snare a man or a woman or a dog. I don't know. A dog. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, that's cool. So uh, where did that come from? It's just Latin. Just Latin. You know how all huh. the Latin stuff goes. Well, that's an interesting little factoid. And yeah. actually, um, you know, a lot of women just send their self flowers on Valentine's Day. Actually, 18% of women. <gasps> to like really? their office? Yeah. Huh. I mean, I've heard uh, they, 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 they make like fun of it sometimes in movies and shows and stuff but I, I mean I guess there's really nothing wrong with that you like, want some flowers you want flowers get them. Yeah. get them that's right and I guess Valentine's Day is a good a day as any to do that yeah why is it why would it be frowned upon you know if you really think about it like some people might look at that as like sad but why would you look at that as any different than buying yourself flowers any day yeah I bought us flowers today exactly yeah so what's the difference in doing that on yeah. today or Valentine's Day other than the markup in price that's true yeah that's <laughs> true I bet that markup I say, is crazy I, I do love of getting flowers um, uh, on Valentine's Day or any kind of day, just some flowers are nice. We don't get them very often here at home, or Marshall doesn't really like buy me that often. But that mostly comes down to the fact that our cats eat them, oh yeah, like yeah. instantly. So unless I can bring them with me to work <laughs> and, and enjoy seeing them there for a few days before they die, <laughs> I, I can't leave them at home because the cats will just you just find like little teeth marks and then they die in a day. Yeah, and um, a lot of flowers are poisonous. That's true, too. Exactly. Mm-hmm. If he brings them home to me and I'm not going into work like that next day or that morning mm-hmm. or something, I definitely like have to hide them in the bathroom and shut the door. <laughs> so it's like, right. Everyone who enters our bathroom can see some lovely flowers. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, so we've had to do that before. But I have gotten mad, though. And this is so horrible of me to get mad about. But like if I know he's ordered them from a florist, I like, guess one thing if we're, he's in a different town, I'm in a different town. He's going to have to have them delivered. But oh, my God, I'd much rather much rather him go to the like store and pick up a bouquet of flowers and bring them to me or even a potted plant of like tulips or something than to order and have them delivered like a dozen roses and have them delivered or something because they'll charge $90 for a dozen roses yeah. to be yeah. delivered to you on Valentine's Day. That's well, crazy. And I hate like the places that you order and they come and you have to put them in the vase yourself. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I can't make that look good. Yeah. Someone uh, sent me flowers like that one time and it's like I got the vase cracked and the flowers in a box and they yeah. don't really fully bloom until like a few hours or even a day later sometimes. Yeah. yeah. And, and it just looks like you just put a couple sticks in it. Like it just doesn't look good. Yeah. It's a, it's just a little strange. Yeah. Gr- grocery store flowers yeah. are fine to me. Like if anything, I'm just happy that he saved probably $60 that he can take me out <laughs> to a nice dinner with. Yeah, you know? That $60 like, can go th- to the jewelry. He will exactly. Get you. Or anything <laughs> like that's just or it's the purse, so, the Louis Vuitton purse that you need. You know, it's like you can get one bouquet of flowers delivered to you, or you can get like uh, some flowers hand brought to you, along with some chocolates, maybe a dinner, mm-hmm. a nice card, and still come in under budget. And maybe a really nice, expensive bottle of bubbly. Exactly. Now that I will take as a Valentine's Day present. Absolutely. Yeah. So, any other fun little factoids about Valentine's Day? No, nope, that's us? it. That's it. That's all. All right. So, how, what? Let's go into the best date you've ever been on for Valentine's Day. Well, mine's not necessarily for Valentine's Day. It's just the best date. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, I had a first date with this guy. He picked me up and he drove me to like the small airport. And I was like, where are we where are we going? Were you terrified at this point? Oh no. This no. This is like young wild <laughs> Lindsay who was like, I don't care, take me somewhere. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh huh. And so he had his own little two seater plane. Whoa. Whoa. Mm-hmm. So he flew me to his favorite sushi restaurant. Where at? I think it was in Kentucky, which is kinda weird. But he had a car waiting <laughs> on us. <laughs> Random place for sushi, and, but okay. Uh, I know. Um and he had a car waiting on us and he drove us there and came back and this was a first date first date what was it christian gray (laughs) (laughs) no okay but um this isn't jay this is no this is not jay (laughs) jay Jay doesn't Uh, have a flat pilot license no he does not um and this guy looked like a guy i dated in college like they could have been twins oh wow i could not get past it Uh uh-huh and so when he called me to ask me on a second date, I said no. Oh my god! Even after no. all of that, like how stupid was I? <laughs> also, that's a lot to take in, though, because that's a really like 
like how do you live up to expectations for like a, a first date like that that's crazy what's, what's the second date i know, I know. The second I date? should have at least take, went on a second did he date. fly you to his yacht after right? that like what, what on earth okay right so he you, sorry you got on the plane he flew you uh-huh there's a car waiting you went and ate dinner he flew you home then what happened so i at that point I had realized, okay, I can't do this. He looks too much like this other guy that I just recently got out of a relationship. It was like one of the biggest relationships I had at that point in my life. And I was like, I just can't. It reminds me too much. And so we, I think I made some excuse up and we parted ways Mm -hmm. that night. And then when he called me back for a second date, I like just blew him off. Mm Mm-hmm. I get Girl. that though because I mean it could have been like super weird you never know you, yeah. you probably like saved yourself from like him like selling you off into slavery or something I don't know it yeah. just seems like such a weird and extravagant first date that either he was like completely loaded or just had or the opposite like mm-hmm. heavy spender and has financial problems yeah, <laughs> I mean, right, like, right. there's gonna be warning signs in so many different ways yeah, <laughs> yeah. but also he could just be a really big romantic and have the means to do that. I don't know. Yeah. That's crazy, though. We'll never know. I've never had a date like that, so... Well, what's your what, <laughs> best date you've ever been on? Um, I don't know. I'm trying to think, like, best dates. I, um, I can't think of any that were, like crazy outstanding that like I, like that weren't like a surprise I already knew about mm. or like going to a really cool concert uh, and dinner something like that I know I've gotten kind of um, cr- crafty and creative with some of the dates that I've kind of planned or surprised for Marshall yeah so one of my favorite ones and it, it was kind of biased because I, I picked both of our favorite places but mm. I remember once I did um, like a Valentine's Day where I went to like three different restaurants and mm. picked up different items and we had like a picnic at home oh. like on the floor so i put out a blanket and everything but like there was um like his favorite pizza and his favorite like sandwich from this other place and then i mean we were still like in our young 20s and right broke so it's like but <laughs> <laughs> oftentimes uh, because i'm a picky eater he sacrifices what he once especially if we're sharing stuff so it's like i went and purposely got all the things that he would like they have all the vegetables that i don't like Aww. and like made like this picnic like of all the things that he would like and we ate all that Aww, i picked off everything i didn't sweet. like but <laughs> so nice but I, that was a fun one yeah so just what about great. you um mine was also a first date okay uh, it's with Will. Oh, my now fiance. Um, but it's not just because it was with him. It was legit like the best first date that I ever went on. Um, and that's just because I feel like a lot of times you, I mean, that first date that you just described was very unique. Uh-huh. And this one was really unique too, because I feel like most of the times the first dates that I'd been on before were like, oh, we'll go to dinner or, sure. oh, we'll go meet in this bar or whatever. Yeah. Um, but I had met Will before at a party, Jay's 30th birthday party. Um, and I felt like he had actually listened to my conversation and like listened to what I talked about and so he our first date actually ended up being um at the nashville sounds uh game so that's our right that's our triple a baseball um team and it was really nice because he got tickets and but we actually spent like the majority of our time we like went and got drinks at like the band box which is like the um left field bar oh yeah right and so we got drinks there but you know we didn't sit down there we like went and walked around and stuff and talked and everything and so we did that for most of the game. Um, but then he had actually gotten tickets and he got tickets. He told me later, like in a section that when he, he like studied the seats and got them where they would be like in a place where we could actually talk if we wanted to have a conversation and sit down. And so we did. And we actually like talked and like we could watch the game, but like still carry on our conversation. That's fun. Right. Yeah, and a lot of thought that goes into that. Right. And so it was like just a, where we were actually able to like talk and everything and not just have dinner and talk over dinner, but like have a good conversation. And we kind of watched the game, but like had a conversation and had drinks. And it was just like the best first date. Mm-hmm. And so I was actually like, when we 
parted ways, I was like, oh, I like immediately knew, oh, yeah, I'll go on a second date with this guy if he asks. Oh, oh that is nice. Mm-hmm. Now, I will say Marshall did surprise me one year for one of our anniversaries when we were dating and he took me to Sambuca. So, like, we got dressed up really nice. We went to a really nice dinner uh, where he actually thought about, like, picked a place where they were playing, like, really nice jazz music in the background and picked a night that had that and had a really nice dinner. And then we went over and, like, walked around the Parthenon and took some photos over there and stuff, which was really nice. But with us, we started dating so young. Yeah. And in college where you're just poor. Oh, yeah. And then how you kind of land in relationships, you don't really, like, date you just right. go places and you do things and mm-hmm. you don't really date so i kind of missed out on that whole date mm-hmm. period i guess of like for most people's lives like when they date around and date different people mm-hmm. go on more extravagant first dates and stuff um well i have enough stories for everyone yeah <laughs> like, I, it's not necessarily that i miss that or anything like that but it, it is interesting because i look when i think about it i'm like well i mean i don't really have any really interesting date stories because yeah. i never really dated (laughs) you went on a date with me well you went on a date with me to see this guy play in a band yeah and then a bar fight broke out (gasps) and also you put a fake engagement ring on me and that was just a very interesting it was a very very interesting night (laughs) Mm -hmm. anyway yeah we got shammered yes and uh (laughs) and i think one or both of us got engaged yes yeah Yeah. it was a fun night oh well there you go well i mean so, Trina, have you ever, like, been on any bad dates or, like, have you ever been able to? Um, again, no, because no, I mean, like, because... I, I dated, um, I had, like, a really long relationship my first few years of college and part of high school and then, right. uh, and then had, like, a year off of the long-term relationship and went on a couple of dates or with some guys, but it was in college again. Mm-hmm. So, it's like, oh, let's go to just random places place you know (laughs) marshall did think about our first date uh he put thought into that because he knew i was like a very active person and i like doing fun things and so uh again college budget (laughs) you know we went to like chili's and had like two for ones and ate dinner and then we went to like the go usa fun park place and did like go karting uh putt putt which i beat at him at and he said that he cheated um (laughs) or i said he cheated and he still lost and then uh we played like arcade games. So it was like a very fun yeah, fitting yeah. for us, like date. But yeah, no, I mean, I really just never dated. I mean, like, I can think of like one other guy that I dated while in college that, like, if I even tried to think about it, I think we just we hung out with friends and we went to dinner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and that was kind of it. I mean, <laughs> that's good. And Jay we and went I's, to like a bar. <laughs> yeah, Jay and I's birthday date was pretty common. I mean, we went to dinner and a movie. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then yeah. our third date is kind of when. We, I realized at least I liked him. He cooked for me. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's always and a good one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, now I do remember the first time Marshall. I don't. I don't want to say it's the first time he cooked for me, but he definitely cooked for me one time and tried to make a really nice meal. But he, um, he wanted to make like spaghetti and something else, and he used ramen noodles as the noodles for the spaghetti. Oh, oh that's adorable. It didn't taste great. Oh, <laughs> yeah, but yeah. it wasn't really, really cute when I oh. looked at it, and I was like. What kind of noodles did you use? Because <laughs> ramen noodles are, they have their own flavor and like yeah. texture. And like, he didn't obviously add the seasoning packet, but they still have their own flavor. Right, they, they do. They taste do. it. So I was just like, that's weird. <laughs> but it wasn't really funny. That's so. awesome. Mm. So I think my worst date actually was probably the same summer as my the best date and the best is usually loosely it's like the most extravagant date because obviously uh-huh. if it was the best date i would have went on a second one but so the worst date i had is this guy I knew from college um had asked me out on a date we went to dinner and i said hey i said if, you, you know we didn't know what to do we were in murfreesboro which is right outside of nashville if you don't know it's where all of us went to college and uh we were there and um, I said a lot of my friends are bartending at this bar if you want to go he's like sure well of course they like shove shots down my throat Uh because I knew everyone oh no so I get blackout drunk oh no and he takes me home where I throw up for hours (gasps) oh my god no girl no so I think it was his worst day ever (laughs) So you were the worst date ever for him. I was at the that worst date ever. Oh wow! And yeah. that was the first date. 
First day, he, oh, wow. he did not ask me out again. He did not? <laughs> you don't say. Yeah. Okay, that is pretty funny, though. Um, um, yeah, it was, it was bad. And bless his heart, I think he took care. It's very hazy. I think he took care of me. He might have put me in the bed. I was living with two guys at the time. One of them tried to help. Like, I think I couldn't get off the floor in the hallway. Anyway. Wow. Well, um, it's funny, though, because you, you you often hear people like, oh, what was your worst date? And they can talk about their worst date as in, like, someone else. Yeah. I love that you just described, like, this is your worst date, <laughs> but you were also his worst date. <laughs> yeah. No, no. no. I, and I, well, I think it's a, like, the most embarrassing date because it was completely all of my fault. Mm-hmm. Like, it was me. I was the <laughs> worst date. And I just can't imagine what that would have been like for someone Mm-hmm. Like, oh my God, I've got the drunk girl. She's puke. I can't leave her because then I would be a jerk. Oh my God. Like, she's throwing up in the floor. Like, yeah, I guess from the opposite view, it's like if you were on a date like that with a guy who did that, it would be a lot easier for you to be like, screw this, call your friend and just leave. Yeah. Uh-huh. But he can't necessarily do that to you. Like, I, I mean, that's a little bit of a double standard, I guess, but like, that would be. You know, he could have. <laughs> he could have called one yeah. of your friends and been like, and I'm done. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that's crazy. That's so funny, though. What about you, Jess? Um, I would say my worst date was this is when I was living in Boston um, and I met this guy at a party and he like seemed perfectly nice. Like he was fine. Um, and he asked me out and I said, OK, sure, fine. So we went on one date. He took me to California Pizza Kitchen and it was fine. But I was kind of like. I, I don't like we're, we this there was just like no connection and I was like no like whatever he asked me out a second time and I didn't really want to go but he wanted to go see a movie at our local like independent theater and I was like oh I really want to go see that movie and I was like uh, I'm gonna go out with him again just because I want to go see this movie mm-hmm. so I did <laughs> <laughs> So I went on this second date just so I could go see this movie. Well, I hope it was worth it. What movie was it? Do you um, remember? Yeah, it was Moonrise Kingdom. It was okay. Wes, Wes Anderson. Um, so I we went to the movie and I got there and it's an independent theater. So they sold alcohol. So I, I just met him there and I was I was like, oh, I'm going to go get a glass of champagne. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, do you want anything? He's like, no. And I was like, okay. Like there was seriously no connect. I was like, I'm not feeling anything. Did for you just get spammered? No, I didn't. But so I went and saw the theater, like the movie, and I like sat, you know, not anywhere where he could like put an arm around me or anything, like drinking my champagne. The movie was over. I enjoyed it. And then he was like, do you want to go get ice cream? And I was like, oh, I guess so. So we went and had ice cream. But like, I'm like. Plus, it's hard. He was trying, I guess. He was. But I was just pretty much like, I think I was just pretty much giving off the vibe. Like, all right, I'm done. Like, whatever. So this is a theater that like I could walk home. It was like. It's like a mile and a half from my apartment. So, like, it was a nice summer evening. I was going to walk home. It's a safe thing. I, like, walk home all the time. So, I was, he was, like, going to get on the train. And I was like, okay, well, great. Thanks. It's been a great night. Like, thank you. And he was like, oh, are you going to get on the train? And I was like, nope, I'm going to walk home. And he's like, oh, okay, I'll walk with you. Oh, no. And I was just like, oh, my God. God. <laughs> and I was like, take a hint, dude. That's, no. <laughs> right. And that's what it was. I was like, Okay, so he walked with me like pretty much almost the entire time home, and I'm just like, oh, and he's making conversation. I'm just like, uh huh, uh huh, okay, uh huh, yep. Like I'm just giving, and like I don't, I'm usually a pretty friendly person, but I'm just giving off the vibe of like, I, I'm not interested. I'm right. not interested. Like I, I nope, nope, mm-hmm. nope, nope. Like I just felt nothing, no connection. Like I don't even want to make out session. Like yeah, I, yeah. Like it was at that point where I was like, I don't even want to make out with you. Like I'm just done. So he walks home with me pretty much the whole time until we finally got to a point, and I was like, okay, well here's the last train stop for you. It's been fun. Bye. <laughs> and you ran. <laughs> I, and I was pretty much like, and he was like, oh okay, and I was like, okay, great, goodbye. Did uh did he take the hint and not call again, or did you did you have to do the? Uh, I just don't think it's gonna work out. Kind I of think I kindly, I kind of had to finally. He texted me again to hang out, and I was kind of like, 
No. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was just it was just kind of like the worst. Like, yeah, fine, I like got a movie out of it, but it was just kind of like the most awkward like and ice cream. And ice cream, <laughs> but like I didn't want to hang out. Like it was just like it was someone I didn't want to hang out with. I feel like yeah. sometimes things like that like uh, the, the the penance for maybe doing that and going on the date with someone that you were like, "Me, I want to give him another shot, but m- m- it, I'm probably not interested." Yeah. Is like then the movie's horrible or like it's just mm. awkward the entire time like but it was just yeah that, it was just that that mile and a half walk home was just yeah dragged Ugh. so probably the worst state that i've been on where it wasn't my fault <laughs> so um i had went on a couple dates with a guy and uh, had went out with some girlfriends and we were texting and he kind of lived close to where we were i think we were going downtown nashville and he's like hey you know um if you need me to come pick you up if you don't want to get a cab I'll, I'll come get you when you're done. And I was like, okay, cool. So I had texted him when we were done and he came and got me. He's like, what do you just want to say at my place? I'm like, okay, that's fine. Well, I wasn't about to like deal with any hanky panky. I mean, we'd only been out a couple times. Um, wasn't sure how I was feeling about him. And, you know, I was a little tipsy. He was not. Yeah. And so we had both kind of laid down in his bed. I kind of put him over to his side. Well, he was like kind of trying to snuggle up against me. I bet he was. Uh-huh. And I'm like, you know, just pretending to be asleep. Like, I'm like, just leave me alone. And he starts like moving a lot. Oh, and he girl. starts like making noises. Oh, God. Oh, no. no. All of a sudden, the back of my shirt is drenched. No. Oh, Yo, my God. He was masturbating and came yeah. all over my back. Oh, my God. Oh, God. That's so horrible. Oh, God. Did you get up immediately and run away? I got up and cleaned up and I went and slept in the chair. Because I never got home. Because this was before like Uber, I would have had to like call a taxi and wait on it, and then I like left and did not answer his phone calls. Wow. Yeah. That's who like, does who that? Who does that? What yeah. on earth? I mean, I guess how unreasonable for us to think that some dude is offering to be a good person, right? Right. Wow. Mm-hmm. That is horrible. Anyway. Absolutely horrible. Was that, yeah. that's I feel like that is worse than the getting drunk on your first date and puking all over someone is definitely that yeah and I was just because like, that's like a that, that, there's a formal violation in that yeah I mean you know you're in and out of sleep it's late and all of us and you're not even paying attention and all of a sudden some guy just splooshes all over you Ugh, go on yeah just, gross. just no. never a good time no that's gross well um yeah listeners if you have <laughs> best dates if you have worst dates we want to hear about them i want to hear what tops Lindsay's both worst <laughs> dates like uh. if you got something worse than both of those things like or even somewhat just horrific and you want to share it like please do i actually do like so again like i haven't really had the dating experience but i do love hearing other people's dating stuff and it is it's funny to like hear some of the, the hor- horrible stories that happen especially in this like climate of people doing like dating apps oh yeah oh god Um, yeah and even dating websites i mean i know some people who've had some great success on dating websites but it's i've also known people who've had the worst luck ever and it's kind of like the the closest thing i have compared to someone like showing up on a tinder date or something and that person not looking anything like their picture is when an uber driver shows up and they've got a different car (laughs) (laughs) that's my comparison wow (laughs) and you know what and i still don't get in that car (laughs) listening to my amazing worst day Aren't you jealous? I'm no. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm super happy that I met Marshall at a very young age. We're all good. That that makes up for a n- lack of dates. Like makes up for uh, all the bad dates in the world. Yeah, yeah. Because I can't think of any really really bad dates I've had with him. <laughs> you know, all good ones. <laughs> so yeah. And we've had some good fun ones. Like I said, ours is a little bit more of like the normal go out to dinner, go to a movie, go to a concert, all that kind of stuff. And those are all fun things. It's not to downplay that, but it's, yeah. So what do y'all have planned for Valentine's Day this year? So I really want to do a lot of Valentine's Day photo shoots with Rory. Like I thought about putting some little red bloomers on her and then a big bow and like doing little kissies all over her, like me kissing with red lipstick oh my gosh that'd be so cute yeah or um she's got this little candy heart outfit and maybe i could like spread candy hearts around her um well you might have a a little bit of trouble with that this year 
Why? So apparently the company that uh, manufactures those little candy hearts, because you're talking about little hearts, they're different colors, like pastels. The conversation. Yeah. Yeah. Conversation hearts. Mm -hmm. They... um, they went out of business last year or what? they were getting ready to go out of business. So they sold the company to another distributor. But I guess by the time all of that got taken care of, like legally and whatnot, the company that bought them didn't have enough time to manufacture um, the quantities necessary to get out the deliveries. So they just decided to uh, discontinue them for this year, not make any new ones and then just start fresh for next year. Oh um, my god! So good news is they'll be back, but the candy heart outfit fits her this year, Trina. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, they said you might still find some on some shelves, but guaranteed they're probably at least <gasps> a year old. Well, she's not going to eat uh-oh. them. Uh-oh. Well, she's not going to eat them, and they're just for props, and they're disgusting. Yeah, <laughs> they, so oh they are like one of the most popular candies, though. Yes, because they have cute little sayings on them, but they're disgusting. Nobody's eating that crap. Maybe that's why they went out of. The business well, after so right. many years. Okay, so right. I forgot. So this is the Necco Wafer Company people. Mm-hmm. that They're actually based in Boston. Oh. So this is actually, I read a little bit about this, but like I totally forgot that they're like the Candy Heart people too. They're the ones who make those like little Necco wafers in that wax paper that mm-hmm. nobody fork and eats. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because they're gross too. And that's the same like chalky stuff that the Conversation Hearts are yeah. made out of too. Well, they went out of business in July. So that's why. <laughs> okay. So I guess, and then the, uh, some Round Hill Investments bought Necco and then sold it to um, another company, I believe. Okay. So um, I think maybe it's Spanglers or something like that. They're the ones who have the Dum Dum Pops. Oh. But so, and that person was just like, by the time, like, if they went out of business in July and then sold, I mean, obviously, by the time they went into manufacturing, they were like, well, we can't do that. Well, hopefully <laughs> they're going to make them taste better. Just make them sweet tarts with the. Oh my God. Oh my sweet gosh, tarts right? are so good. The sweet tart hearts. I could eat those all yeah, day. They just need to do bleeds. that. But that is, it was kind of crazy. I read about that and I was just like, oh my God, they're not going to have those this year. Like, well, that's I don't know crazy. what I'm going to do with my photo shoots. Well, if you find all like the, uh, hopefully they've like sent that article around. So if you do actually find any, they're c- kind of like the, the big find of the year, if you can find them, but mm. also, you know, they'll be a year old. So as long as she doesn't eat them, you're good. Girl, I think they're a year old anyway when they're on <laughs> right? the shelf. I, I definitely feel like they're always pretty. They always taste a little old. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think it matters. Uh, just, so. just get some sweet heart hearts True. or um, there's so many other different hearts out there. There's like uh, I saw they have Sour Patch Kid hearts. Oh. Like just get a different like different kinds of hearts and then they'll be like multicolored and beautiful and rainbowy and it'll be pretty done yeah i'll just do that we can just uh, i'm sure you can find on pinterest somewhere how to make them yourself yeah i'll but figure it out a lot of work yeah <laughs> yeah there's a lot of work for candy hearts <laughs> i'll whittle down some chalk there you go <laughs> and make some hearts oh my god and paint yeah. some words and it'll taste better than that crap <laughs> Probably. Yeah. So you can't really question why they went out of business then. No. <laughs> Hopefully no. this new company will like and make the 2.0 version of that and like make it taste a little mm-hmm. better. Yeah. I wonder, I wish we could see what the sayings were. I'm sure we can Google this. What the sayings were when like we were kids compared to what the sayings are now. <laughs> mm-hmm. Because like I'm sure when we were kids, it was like sweetheart or whatever. And now it's like bae. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I'm. I'm, I'm curious about that too. <clears throat> I'm True. not sure what they would put on this. So, well, what mm-hmm. about you? You got any big plans for the Valentine's Day? Well, Chinese food? <laughs> look, here I am talking about like how Will and I just do Chinese food. But actually, I think this year, um, the Frist Center for the Arts, which is like Nashville's like kind of art museum, um, they have, this is so random, they have these Italian Renaissance love chests. Ooh. It's like... Love chest. Love chest? Like a chest Yes, chest? yes, okay. yes. And it's like, it's kind of like this Renaissance Italian art exhibit type of thing. Mm-hmm. But they have a special exhibit, uh, a special event for Valentine's Day. Um, and they're serving special chocolates and finger foods. And they're serving Prosecco. And they have like some special music and um, someone like guiding you through the exhibit. So I think we're actually going to get tickets and go to that. That sounds like fun. Yeah, mm-hmm. I hope a random guy doesn't jump out and splooge all over your back. <laughs> jump out of the Italian love chest. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it, it sounds like it, that could be a really weird, like, dirty movie. I don't yeah, know. I don't, I <laughs> the don't Italian really, love chest. I mean, you know, I think, like, you know, the probably the chest that, like, the young 14-year-old girls, you know, back in Renaissance era Italy, you know, packed 
before they went and got married. I think that's probably what it is. Mm -hmm. I don't really know. But it just sounded more culturally inclined, plus they're serving Prosecco and chocolate. You're going to a sex den. We're going to a sex den in the Express Center. (laughs) An art sex den. An art sex den. With Italians. So we thought we'd change it up from the Chinese food. (laughs) Okay. I like it. That's nice. Yeah, there's also a Preds game that night, but I think we'll probably... uh, it's the Canadians. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we'll probably sell those tickets and go get our culture on. So that's what I'll probably be doing on my Valentine's I'll Day. Do. Going to a Brits game. Oh, <laughs> hey, um, that's fun, though. I, I need to call Chris. <laughs> well, um, if he doesn't get with you, call me. We'll buy Jess's tickets. And we'll go. We'll go to drunk hockey. <laughs> well, yes. my, my love, Shea Weber, will be uh, there. So, Ooh. I didn't know he's going to be there. That's awesome. I mean, the, he's the captain of the Canadian. Oh, that's right. Oh. Well, um, that, that's most likely what I'll be doing is going to see the game. And then, of course, the very next day, I'm going to really celebrate <gasps> Valentine's We're Day. We're going to really celebrate Valentine's Day. Because... We're going to see Inebriated Shakespeare. Our new drunk circus. That's right. Yes. It's annual drunk circus time, but this time we're going to City Winery, where we can order Prosecco and champagne and get drunk along with the actors on stage and enjoy, what is it, Taming of the Shoe? Shrew? Yeah. <laughs> Taming of the Shoe. Taming of the Shoe. Tame that shoe, Trina. Tame it. Woo! Taming I just imagine Trina with some lips and chains. Taming that shoe. Taming, Taming that shoe. Taming what that kind of Jimmy, shoe was it? Uh, <laughs> Jimmy Choo Shoe. Jimmy Choo yeah. Shoe. That's right. I, I just, I pictured uh, like a stripper shoe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. So the times that we mess up words on this show. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So yes. And you, our listeners are invited. If you live or visiting Nashville on the 15th of February, go ahead and get your tickets. It will sell out. Inebriated Shakes.com. Come drink with us. Bring cash for the actors. Yes. Yes. $5 a shot. And if you buy tickets, let us know so that we can definitely save seats for you at our table so you can sit with us. Yeah. So definitely go get your tickets. You can get them online from City Winery Nashville uh, at their website. If you go there and uh, Google that, or you can go to inebriatedshakes.com and look up all of their shows, and there's links there also. Uh, And the next night, that Saturday, the 16th, they are doing Romeo and Juliet. Mm -hmm. Um, That's a later evening show at, um, I think, Two Kegs? Twin Kegs. Twin Kegs. Twin Kegs. Yeah. I think. That's what they said last time. But the 15th is a special showing of the Taming of the Shoe. (laughs) (laughs) It's a specialty one. It's a specialty. <laughs> Just for me. <laughs> Just for Trina. Yeah. I feel like our table will get a lot of attention. So if you really want to experience it, you definitely need yeah. to come with us. <laughs> yeah. So wear your best shoes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's time for Drinking Thinking Cup. Drinking Thinking Cup. Drinking Thinking Cup of us. I actually have something. <gasps> oh, Ooh, tell us. What okay. do you have? So if you watch the Facebook Live, I made Rosé. <gasps> yes. Oh, that's so good. So, so good. It was really easy. I got a bottle of rosé and I um I did a lot of research. When I say a lot, I did like two seconds. And the one thing I did read was to get a darker bottle of rosé, like a darker liquid, because it holds the flavor more. Because when you freeze it, the flavor kind of disappears. Stays with it, I guess. So I got a darker bottle. I put like, I don't know, a cup or so of vodka in there. I made some simple syrup. You literally boil water. You throw some sugar in there. And then I used berries that I had in my fridge, which were raspberries, blackberries, and strawberries. So I blended all that up, froze it. Perfect. But it was I, amazing, yeah, guys. It's really, really so good. Yeah. Super easy. It, it actually froze like a slushy because, you know, when you freeze alcohol, you never know. But I thought, what if we made champagne cocktail rosé, like a French 75? Ooh. Ooh. You know, like little freezy concoction or a Bellini freezy concoction. Like we could do all of the cocktails, but in the the frozen genre. Ooh, that would be fun. That sounds yeah, amazing. That sounds amazing. So after our bubbly bracket, and maybe, you know, if we get a favorite or top two favorites, maybe I will try to make those into a frozen drink. Yes. And another option, we can also try to turn them into um, like those frozen popsicles since Jess got that popsicle maker. Mm-hmm. Yes. So we can do maybe both like for summer. That'd mm-hmm. be great. It is. So I have tried to do popsicles before. It's a little harder because the alcohol doesn't freeze it's hard. Mm-hmm. Um, so. So slushy drink is better. Well, or the popsicle <laughs> has to. It, it, it's any shape. It's not going to be a shape. Like we have some Star Wars pops 
icicle molds. Mm -hmm. They don't do that. But if you had just like a regular circle mold, it would probably hold because it's not going to be straight because it's very slushy like Um, and it will fall apart very easily and they melt very easily because it's mostly alcohol. We need to get like those like plastic sleeves like where people make like the the little push up like icy pops but make them like frozen slushy icy pops because I bet those that would work really well because at least then you can kind of control the frozy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, true, true, true. That would be cool. I love it. Well, that sounds delicious. So you should make that starting now. Okay. Yeah. (laughs) With all of that extra frosé. I'm down with it. Do you got anything this week? Uh, Well, if you want to make some cute little Valentine's Day cupcakes, and this is actually in the rosé theme, so we're just doing a rosé theme. You know, roses, rosé, Valentine's Day. We're just going to roll with this. Um, I actually just got some rose water essence to bake with, Ooh. which sounds weird, but I was like, this will be fun for Valentine's Day and just going into the spring. Um, so it's just some champagne rosé cupcakes. Um, mm. Yeah. So it's just that. Um, and you, it's in the cupcake batter and in the frosting. Oh, wow. Um, and you also use a rose water essence. So it's just like a really interesting flavor. Hmm. Uh, so I'll be um, baking those and putting the recipe up on our blog. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. Let's say I don't really have much of anything for drinking, thinking, calf at all. I'm not really crafty with the idea of like adding alcohol to my food. I just eat what y'all make me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, every year for Valentine's Day, I make strawberry white chocolate chip cookies. Oh, okay. and I could try to add champagne to that. Or I could just drink a glass of champagne dip, with um, the cookies. <laughs> dip the cookies in the champagne instead of milk. There you go. There I could you just go. do that. And yeah. that's that's my version of Drink a Thinking Cap. You're welcome, everybody. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. They'll make a nice compliment. Exactly. All right, it's Drink About It. Reasons you're drinking, whether good or bad, we want to know. You can let us know on Facebook or Instagram or our website, www.thechampagneway.com. Just go to the index and click drink about it and you can submit why you're drinking about it. That All right. right. <laughs> so, guys, do we got any uh, listener comments? Uh, we do. Um, so I've got one here from Danielle Couch. She is doing a celebratory drink. And that is because, um, let's see, she wrote happy first year anniversary. So that's for us. Yay. Yay. Thank you. Um, And also because she's going back to college after 22 years, thanks to Disney Aspire. (gasps) So she is super excited, super nervous. Um, And anyway, she said, hope you beautiful ladies make it back to Disney soon. Uh, Yeah, we're all there. Yeah. yeah. (laughs) Um, (laughs) That's super exciting. Congratulations. Well, I want to know what you're going to be when you grow up. I want to go back to college. I know college was fun. Can we all just go back to college? Yeah, I had some good times there. I feel like I would enjoy it so much more as an adult now. Because I wasn't an adult back then. No, no. (laughs) I just thought I was. (laughs) But it was great not to have responsibility or understand the concept. Yeah. Can we like all take a sabbatical and just go back to school for like a semester uh, and yes. be adults in college. I feel I like this agree. would be a whole new level of fun. If anything, maybe we could like sneak alcohol on campus and drink and make fun of all the the kids. We would be like <laughs> cougars. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. Well, oh, I definitely. Ha- I feel like I have mixed feelings because we have like an intern at the office right now. And so when she like I say hi to her and stuff, I'm like, oh, God, she doesn't have like any. I feel like she doesn't have the responsibilities yet. You know what I mean? I'm like, girl, you don't even know. Uh huh. But then I also think about it and I'm like, oh, it's so nice to go home and not have like 50 papers to write mm-hmm. and do this and this and this. Like instead I can marathon Game of Thrones or, um, you know, pour myself a drink and work on our social media or do like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I have other responsibilities, but it's not writing a 25 page paper on a random book yeah true and i do feel like post baby Lindsay would not maybe enjoy the jello wrestling and white t-shirt contest that maybe she once did <laughs> yeah no, no. i mean it would be a totally different experience for sure but i feel like you could still find ways to make it fun yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, i mean we yeah for sure <clears throat> For sure. Plus, I don't feel like looking back on it now, I'm like, as an adult, I'm like, okay, we could totally 
own this college thing. Going to class for like an hour, like three days a week yeah. is not the worst thing in the world. Right. Like I right. could I could actually write the paper right. because that also wouldn't take as long in this day and age. So it's like all that extra free time outside of that. They got to be okay with. All right, like, Lori. We're going to live vicariously through you. Uh-huh. We want to um, know about all of this. <laughs> yeah. But t-shirt contest, jello re- list wrestling, cougar town. Like, we want it all. So this is up to you. <laughs> what is Disney College like? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So I have one from Stacy, who is in New Orleans. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. She is drinking about it because her boyfriend's deploying. Oh. That went from like, woo to boy. I guess it could be good or bad, depending on how you're feeling. Uh-huh. I think she meant it as like, oh, sad. I mean, I'm sure. Yeah. But the good thing is They're he's such a cute couple. going to Poland, so it's not like, like in the middle of a war. like. Poland yeah. is pretty. What does he do that he ended pretty up in chill. Poland? I yeah, I don't ask questions. <laughs> Poland, yeah, I, yeah, that's different. That seems random AF. Yeah, it does. Uh-huh. But I mean, that, that's sad for Stacy. I totally understand. Is he going to be gone for a full year? Yes. Oh, wow. oh my goodness. That's like long distance can be such a tough thing. So that's um, you know, we'll drink to you and wish you all the best luck with all of that. Yeah, we're thinking of you. Yeah. yeah. I got another one here. This one is from Layla Lee Lila. Hey girl. I like that we ask on here, like, name and where you're from. And <laughs> just so we can point this out, Danielle wrote Chicago and Disney World or, or <laughs> Magic, uh, uh, Animal Kingdom because that's where she works at. And <laughs> Layla wrote, um, she's from Mickey Mouse Land. <laughs> I just got to throw that out there for both she of them. Is we love our Florida <laughs> fans. Um, hers is also a celebratory drink. And she says, Congrats on your one year anniversary. Aww. I am drinking a Jacqueline, Jacqueline, um, which is Aldi champagne and white cranberry juice in honor Aww. of you three ladies and Marshall. Aww. So cheers to you. Ooh. Cheers to you, Layla. Cheers. cheers. And she Layla. got us the cutest gifts for our anniversary. Yes. Yeah. She got us a little book with champagne prosecco cocktails. And she got us all little shirts. Mm-hmm. And she got us a whole jar of champagne. Pain jelly beans, which we're yes. going to taste test in the near future. Yeah, and uh, Lindsay, didn't you make a song up about a book that she gave okay, us? Yeah, it's called Physical, like Fizz, like F I Z Z. Let's get physical. Let's get physical. Physical. I want to get physical. Let me hear your bubbles, bubble. We'll post the video because I did like a video of it. It's so fantastic. It's, a, it's just a hint of what's to come of our um, next like exercise video that we're going to release yeah. very yes. soon. Yeah. Exercising while not spilling your champagne. You're welcome. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so thank you, Layla. And we're drinking to you for being such an amazing sister. Yeah. Yes. And also, I'm really intrigued by the white cranberry juice. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. She said it was great. She was listening to or it, she was listening to our live broadcast earlier and drinking that. And she tried the Aldi champagne because of us, too. Um, so I believe the champagne from Aldi was called um, the Jacqueline. Jacqueline something. Oh, interesting. Yeah. yeah. All right. So I have another listener submission from Caleb from Chicago, who is mine and Jay's cousin. And you'll know where we get our humor. He is dead dad drinking today. Oh, Um, wow. (laughs) Well, his father passed away a few years ago. uh Today's the anniversary. So he's dead dad drinking. Well, that's... I don't okay. even know what to say to that my one. Because <laughs> he was like, did I miss the live? I was like, yeah. He, I said, well, what's your drink about it? He said, I'm dead dad drinking today on caps. And I was like, oh, my, with a monkey face. <laughs> he just went, ha, ha. <laughs> oh, well, you know, the, 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 that, those kind of days are not always sad. Um, well, no. And also, if they are, it's sometimes therapeutic to make lighter of it or at least... Mm-hmm. Um, Turn it into some way where it's not as, as sad. So exactly. For well, for my father-in-law, we we like to uh, tell old stories about him that are just hilarious. Like the first time I met him, and he got hit by a car, um, and didn't want us to tell my mother-in-law because he thought he'd get in trouble. Um, there you go. <laughs> fun stories yeah. all the time. So like that, it, it's therapeutic, and it's actually like 
That's probably actually if he's laughing about it. That's probably like a he's making light of a right, a rough day. Right, right. It, I'm sure it is a rough day, but yeah, he's great. Um, he and I actually banter back and forth during on Twitter on Monday nights when we're watching The Bachelor. So if you are a Bachelor fan, follow us. He's the unemployed actor. I am on Twitter. Uh, Trial by bubbles. Trial by bubbles. <laughs> I did not know that was your name on Twitter. That's yeah, you fantastic. only have so many characters. I could not. My Instagram name is the Prosecco Prosecutor, but on Twitter, I'm Trial by Bubbles. Wow, I, I like love it. Trial by Butter. Yeah. Uh, bubbles. <laughs> <Not> butter. <laughs> that would be if I. I don't do anything on Twitter, but if I if I did, that would be mine. Trial by Butter. <laughs> <laughs> well, mine's I put butter in my coffee these days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, Any more drink about it? Uh, just that it's been a long AF week between work and uh, freelance stuff. So I'm just uh, drinking to the weekend. Nice. And um, that's why I got choiced at the symphony last night. <laughs> and um, I'm right there with you, girl. So I'm just glad that I'm drinking here with y'all. So I'm yeah. drinking to that. Yeah. So I'm planning Rory's first birthday party. <gasps> mm-hmm. Yeah. And Jay told me last night I was going overboard. No, oh, he didn't. What did he expect? He did. Come on now. Yeah. <laughs> so I wanted Alice in Wonderland themed. Mm. She wanted Sesame Street's her birthday, so we're doing Sesame Street. Ugh. So which, which those um, bossy one year olds? I'm sorry to interrupt. <laughs> we're doing a special Elmo cocktail for the adults, right? Yeah. Any kind of Sesame Street. A Big Bird, Elmo, whatevs. You're in charge of that, by the way. Okay, great. I feel like um, you can make a Big Bird champagne cocktail fairly mm-hmm. easily. French yeah. 75, pretty yeah. much. <laughs> okay, so but, go ahead. Um, so I wanted to rent an Elmo costume like for someone to wear. Mm-hmm. You know, she's, she'd lose her mind. Mm-hmm. And I couldn't find one at Performance Studios, which is like the costume shop in Nashville. They're like, oh, they have copyright. So then I was like getting on this place so I could like hire someone to come in. And he's like, that's a little much for a one-year-old, don't you think? I mean, no. If you want to see a one-year-old freak out, I mean, come on. Yeah, I mean, we're going to Sesame Street Lab the weekend before, but... Oh, well, that'll be good, at least. Can you talk to that Elmo there and be like, do you need a side gig? Well, they probably Mm. tour. (laughs) So... Yeah. Mm. Yeah, they probably won't be here still then. Anywho. But yeah. Yay, Rory's going to be a month old pretty soon. You mean a year old? A year old. (laughs) (laughs) I don't think you want to go back for one month again. (laughs) I don't know. I don't know. Oh, no. She's cute. Um, well, I guess I'll drink about to our our videos all making <gasps> their way to YouTube. Yes, Hooray. we're on YouTube. Yeah. That is right. Trina is the magical magicianal unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's been a lot of hours into making our YouTube page blow up with 29 episodes of the Champagne Way. Hooray! <laughs> so, if you have a YouTube account, which everyone should, or mm-hmm. if you just like to peruse it every once in a while, you should go check it out. Just go on YouTube and search for the Champagne Way. You'll find all of our episodes on there um, to listen to. And yeah, we'll be putting up some new content soon this year. But I'm drinking to that because that's just, I wanted to do that for a while and we finally got it done. And and now I only have to do one episode at a time. <laughs> and we're on all the mediums, y'all. Yeah. So please like us. Subscribe. Share us. Subscribe us. Subscribe us. <laughs> all righty. What we may or may not talk about on the next episode of the Champagne Way. The Bubbly Bracket. And if we've picked out any of our cocktails yet, if you haven't submitted any yet, you should definitely get online and you should submit them to us. You can go to our website and fill out just uh, the Bubbly Bracket form or you can send us a DM on Instagram or on Facebook and send us your favorite cocktail. Um, And hopefully we'll talk about that on the next episode. I don't have anything else this week. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's it. But will, will anyone else have a bad Valentine's Day? I don't know. Probably. <laughs> I'll go ahead and say yeah. Um, <laughs> will Lindsay get anything for Valentine's Day? Huh. Maybe, I'll, <laughs> maybe I'll get like yeah. a fork to go with my soup ladle. There you go. <laughs> also, you know. You did get a new phone though. Oh, that's true. I went and got it myself. <laughs> oh, and then and I did buy it. And she goes, I was going to give you that for Valentine's Day. Oh, you're a liar. <laughs> um, you know, all, after our last podcast, I just assumed we'd get a dick pic or two, but we haven't. Well, we got the one of Dick Clark, but that didn't Oh, count. I didn't get it. I was like, why is this old man here? Oh, because <laughs> Marshall sent us a Dick Clark pic. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, so, that went over my head, Marshall. But that's all we got. 
no no other actual yeah. dick pics. Yeah. So yeah, anyway. Or rubber chicken pics. Oh man. Yeah. Well all right. Well, thanks listeners. Thanks, Second Sound. Thanks, Marshall. We love you all. Thanks, listeners and fans and followers and subscribers. If you're an Elmo, um, maybe let Lindsay know so that she can hire you for Rory's birthday. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> for free. Uh, please follow us on Instagram and Facebook at The Champagne Way. And like, listen, subscribe and find all of our uh episodes on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, SoundCloud, Spotify, and YouTube. Yep. YouTube. Go um, stream all, 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 all. Multiple times. Multiple times. Just leave it on the back. Hashtag true love. <laughs>